Hey friends, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to explore some different types of measurement involving weight. So our learning goal for today says I can compose and decompose a kilogram to determine the weight of one kilogram, 100 grams, 10 grams, and one gram. So friends, remember when we talk about composing, that just means putting something together and decomposing is just breaking it apart. So we're going to talk about different ways that we can make and show one kilogram or 100 grams or 10 grams or even one gram. So the materials that you'll need for this lesson are your problem set. Okay, so make sure that you grab that. If you don't have your problem set right now, that's okay. You can watch the lesson, but some of these problems from our problem set are coming right from, or sorry, some of these problems from our lesson, video lesson today are coming right from our problem set. So just make sure that you have that or we can look back at the video later if you need some help answering some of those questions. Okay, so let's jump in and get started. Today, we are going to explore a kilogram. It's a unit used to measure weight. So like if we're talking about how like if I want to jump on the scale at home and find out how many pounds I weigh, we, we weigh ourselves in pounds. Well, and that's a unit uh, that you can use to measure weight. Well, today we're going to talk about kilograms, which is another unit you can use to measure weight. Can you guys say the word kilogram? Yeah, kilogram. Awesome. All right, so here... I have a bag of rice. This bag of rice weighs one kilogram. We can abbreviate the word kilogram by writing kg. Okay, so the G stands for grams and the K stands for kilo or kilo. So kilograms. So we can also say that one kilogram equals one kg. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes it's super easy to write kg instead of writing out the word kilogram. So we have those abbreviations to help us so it's easier. We're not focusing on, oh, how do I spell kilogram? I can just write kg. So there, I'll label my bag of rice 1 kg. So 1 kilogram. All right, so check out this pan balance. Okay, so here we have this balance. Maybe you've seen one that looks like this before. Notice how both sides are level or straight across from each other. That means it is balanced and both sides are equal. So if I have on my pan balance right there, if I have one side that's way high up in the air and the other one is down on the bottom, that means that the side that's up higher is lighter than the side that's on the bottom. You can kind of think of like a pan balance as if you've ever seen like a seesaw where, you know, one person pushes up and the other person goes down. And you kind of do that opposite thing. That's how a pan balance works. And if it's straight across, it's balanced or equal. So if I place the one kilogram bag of rice on one side, what do I need to put on the other side to make it balanced? Yeah, if you said another one kilogram bag of rice, you're correct. We know it's balanced because both pans have one kilogram on each side or they're the same amount. So now let's look at how we can decompose one kilogram. So remember that decompose means to break apart. So here's our one kilogram bag of rice. I just flattened it out in the bag so it would be easier for us to see. So I'm going to draw a 10 frame on my bag of rice. Okay, so there it is. So now we have 10 equal parts. You can count real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 equal parts. Now I've decomposed my bag of rice into 10 equal parts. The equal parts can be measured with a smaller unit of weight called grams. So each part of the 10 frame is about 100 grams of rice. We can abbreviate grams using the letter G, right? So look, remember back when we did kilograms, it was kg. Well, now G just stands for grams. So here I have 100 grams. If they're all equal, each one of my groups here is going to be 100 grams. So how many hundreds are in one kilogram of rice? So how many hundreds do we have there? Yeah, we have 10 hundreds, right? We can count them. So let's count. One, two, three, four. You can count with me. Five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten hundreds. So friends, we just decomposed one kilogram into ten hundreds. Let's skip count by hundreds to find how many grams of rice are in the whole bag. Okay, so we're gonna count by hundreds. Count with me, ready? So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. Oh, friends, what comes after 900 when you're counting? Oh yeah, 1,000. So there's 1,000 grams in my whole bag. So remember, 1,000 grams equals one kilogram. So one kilogram of rice is the same as 10 hundreds or 1,000 grams of rice. So 10 hundreds make 1,000. Oh, that's just like our place value chart. You guys remember when we do that? Like 10 ones equal a 10, 10 tens equal 100, and 10 hundreds equal 1,000. Look at that's just like what we did but with weight. How awesome is that? So we have 10 hundreds to make 1,000. Now friends, this is just like on your problem set number two. Okay, so you can pause the video and answer number two, or you can keep playing and go back and answer it later. But just if you need a refresher, this part of the lesson had to do with problem two. All right, so how can we decompose 100 grams into groups of 10 grams? So now we're breaking it down even smaller. We went from 1,000 to 100. Now we're gonna take this 100 and we're gonna break it down even more into groups of 10 grams. So we can make a new 10 frame, right? So we can check to make sure um, that, oh, sorry, hang on. There we go. We know that 10 tens make 100. So we can check to make sure that 10 groups of 10 grams makes 100 by skip counting by tens. Okay, so here we can skip count. So we're at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, so we know that 10 groups of 10 grams equals 100. Again, that's like our place value chart, right? 10 tens make 100. We're just adding in that unit of grams. Now, friends, again, this is like problem set, problem number three. So if you need help answering that one, go ahead and pause the video. You can answer it now or come back to it and you have this part to help you. All right, so now we're gonna break it down even more, friends. How can we decompose 10 grams into groups of one gram. Oh, you know what? Oh, we're gonna get run over one of those again. And we can make a new 10 frame, right? So this one's getting small. We know that 10 ones make a 10. Oh, that's tiny, so I don't have enough space in there. So I'm gonna draw an arrow to say this is one gram. So each one of those boxes is one gram. So you could count one gram, two grams, three grams, four grams, five grams, six grams, seven grams, eight grams, nine grams, and 10 grams. So 10 groups of one gram make 10 grams. That's like problem set number four. Okay, so make sure you guys check that part out too. All right, friends, so here's where we're gonna try and make a connection to place value. I know we've kind of talked about it a little bit, but how does today's exploration using kilograms and grams relate to what we know about place value? So we've talked about it a little bit. This is also one of the problems on your problem set, so make sure you pay close attention. But how does like these place value charts, right? So we have one kilogram, 100 grams, 10 grams, one gram, and then we have our traditional place value chart that has thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. So how do the, our, our lesson today talking about grams and kilograms, how does that relate to what we know about place value? So I want you guys to pause the video and I want you to look at these charts and just think for a minute on how you think they relate to each other. Think about like those groups where you can, where we decompose like a kilogram into 10 groups of 100 um, with it. So think about that, pause. Um, give it a minute or two, think. If you can't come up with anything and you're like, man, you know what? You really stumped me, Mrs. Walker. That's okay. Give it a minute to think and then come back and we're gonna talk about it together. Okay, so pause, think about it, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. 
All right, friends, so pause if you need more time. So here's what I'm thinking when I look at this. I know that 10 ones equal 110, right? Well, I also know that when we did 10 single grams, so 10 groups of one gram, that equals 110 gram. So 10 one grams, right, up there in those the top box of our place, or our um, kilogram chart, we know that that equals 110 gram. So it's like the same thing, right? Look, so 10 ones equal a 10, and 10 one grams equal 110 gram. Oh my gosh, so cool, right? All right, let's look at our tens. Well, I know that 10 tens equal 100. Well, 10 groups of 10 grams equals one 100 gram. Check that out. My gosh, they match again, right? So friends, I don't know if you guys noticed, but to me, it just looks like we're adding like that unit of measure of weight on the end of it. Pretty cool. All right, let's look at our hundreds. So we know that 10 hundreds equal 1,000. Oh, wait. Remember, that's the same as, right? 10 groups of 100 grams equal one kilogram or 1,000 grams. Oh, that's so cool. So they are so heavily related to each other. If you know your place value chart, you can figure out problems involving weight just like these ones that we did today. Okay, so friends, that's like problem set number five. Okay, so make sure that you go through that one as well. All right, friends, so bravo. You guys did an awesome job composing and decomposing one kilogram into groups of 100 grams and 10 grams, and even with one grams too. So please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends. <music>